some Cal stories here. Welcome back to Bay Sunday, everybody. One of you had an incredible message but couldn't reach your voters, your customers, or your followers. Your message, well, it would fall flat, of course. Political candidates now need to cut them, uh, conduct themselves like companies, and companies need help, too. That includes raising money, maxing your social presence through uh, social media, marketing, branding, strategy, and messaging. Our next guest, an expert in the field, please welcome Kevin Nichols of Principal Consulting. How are you doing? I'm very good. You are a social politician. That's what they call me. That's what they call you. Well, tell our viewers, what do you do? I basically develop and create a, a political candidate's brand online, much like any company would have a logo or a presence or following. I do that for political candidates running for office. And before you do that, they have to have a message, don't they? You have to develop who are we and what are we trying to portray, right? Well, that's what I do as well. I create this, the strategy and the brand with them, and then our messaging is consistent with that. How, uh, how important is just packaging it? The it's, website, how it looks, accessibility. It's like completely it. essential. So it basically has to be consistent. What you see on the website and the blog will have to be the same as your Facebook page, your LinkedIn profile, your Twitter account. They're all branded the same way. But we, we have um, things catch our eyes. Yes. And, and you, you've you got to be drawn in. And that website's got to kind of move you. Because if it's hard to navigate, eh, you move on, right? Correct. Well, the goal here is to engage with your constituents, uh, potential donors, uh, your voters and supporters. So you have to make it the content worth reading. And can a company nowadays survive without social media, without Facebook, without Twitter? Uh, I, it's tough to say that anyone can survive right now. I know. Is that crazy? <laughs> because, you know, five or six years ago, I was like, excuse me? Well, you know, when your mom and grandmother are on Facebook, uh, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a household name now. Which one's bigger for a company X or candidate Y? Is Twitter more important or is Facebook? And tell us why. It kind of depends. I mean, obviously, Facebook has, uh, I think, over one billion active users so uh, it's the most widely used uh, social media form however people like to read short brief uh, messages so Twitter is a great way to build a following and also to send people or refer people other places to go to find more information talking politics a little bit uh -huh. grassroots you know shaking hands I was in New Hampshire for years and some of these candidates would uh, you know go to a hundred town hall meetings and meet everybody and burn out the shoe leather. Is that kind of forgotten now? I mean, because of social media or is that still? Important? Not at all. Uh, that does not replace the need to hit the pavement, uh, but it does allow you to engage with your supporters a lot more frequently and in more targeted way, as opposed to randomly catching you at the grocery store or you know, at, a, at a you know church function or something like that, where you might not be prepared necessarily to answer questions, you can strategize and think about what you'd like to put out there and put forth ahead of time. Company comes to you and needs help. What's the first thing you do for them? Uh, I understand their goals and their aspirations and try to figure out what I can do for them that will enhance that. I don't want to create something false. I want someone to be genuine and authentic and I will help them shape their brand the, the way that they need to based upon that information. Okay, we need help. We have a base Sunday page on Facebook. If you're out there, please like it. I like it. <laughs> there we go. And right. all of you guys too better like it. Um, how do we get that more out in public and more likes? Well, well if we have to. Well, number one, you guys have a far greater reach than most people because people are tuning in to see you uh, at 5 o'clock, 11 o'clock, etc. Not in a dorm room, but a cow or something like that. Exactly. So you're always, like you just said, you just did a pitch verbally, but it takes a little bit more effort to get people to hear something and actually go take the steps to click and do that other stuff. So you need people that are followers, people that are on your shows and things like that, go out and tweet about where they're at, show the link to this this presentation that they're on. Because it's and, Right, it spreads, and then uh, and then have your own employees as well as people that watch the show engage and participate. People are coming to you for breaking news, so why not come and like your page where they can get that news directly to them? What's the biggest mistake companies, candidates, nonprofits make when trying to market, trying to brand their product? I believe that they the biggest mistake is not look, being proactive about their brand, knowing what's being said about them. A lot of times people are talking about your brand and you're not engaged in social media, so you don't know what your perception is, you don't know what your customers are doing or talking about behind your back. There might be an issue that you can resolve. 
uh, that if you knew about it, you could do some damage control, or et cetera. So just knowing about your brand, uh, researching, stay abreast of what's happening, and be proactive in putting the right message in there. I know you got a launch party. Why don't you give that a quick plug if we're going to say so? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, on November 27th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at a, a nice lounge in Oakland called Liege, I'll be having a launch party for my new website for my new political consulting company. Awesome, Kevin. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming in. If you'd like more information about social politics, log on to KevinLNichols.com. KevinLNichols.com. That's it for this week's edition of Base Sunday. Back next week. In the meantime, enjoy your week, everybody. Take care.